Welcome back traders and I have an extra special treat for you today so you make sure you hit that like button to show me you like it so we can keep doing these kind of things we're going to be taking a look at I I don't know I think it may be the first here 100% IV level 50 pot chorizo. so it's not going to be best buddy I haven't quite gotten there yet need to work on that a little bit more uh, but I, <laughs> this was so worth the investment yeah I'm going to top it off with my rare candies because I simply couldn't get enough XL candies for this thing. I'm getting about, I, I couldn't give you a number, but they're spawning at my house at a very high rate. Actually, let's talk about that really quick before we get into the commentary here, because we've got a 33 minute video. Well, like 30 minutes, 32 minutes with uh, just gameplay here. Um, so if you were planning on visiting Alaska or Anchorage or somewhere where Pachirishu is spawning, I can't really speak outside of Alaska or Anchorage, but how do they spawn do they come frequently when's a good time to show up you know i'm gonna sometimes they spawn a lot like right before this holiday event they were going crazy that's where i was really able to top it off doing some trades walking it and then i was able to actually finish that there um but if you're looking to come here and possibly hunt a good one or just get candies in general there is really no actual time where it's really spawning if i had to really say i would probably have to tell you when there's no real event going on although that 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 could be false to some degree because we just had an event and they were spawning like crazy but when it's usually just plain regular spawns that's when you see the pottery issues all right now let's talk about the performance as you're going to also see here throughout all these battles of course how did i like it folks this thing is so crazy good yeah it's going to be rank one yeah Yep, yep, I'm using the number one thing for the Holiday Cup. I sure am. So it was so worth the investment. It does have a few things it needs to look out for, specifically ground, because it's going to just have all electric moves. That's a little bit of a downside, unfortunately, but for this specific cup, it's still going to be putting in that work. I didn't find myself getting walled too hard with it. Although if we do go up against a grass type, Trevenant, it's going to be a bit of an issue. I do believe we're going to go up against a Whimsicott, maybe. Um, but other than that, it's going to be able to handle quite a bit. This thing was so tanky. Folks, this thing is, look, watch here, perfect timing for the tanky talk. All right, here we go. So finishing off this, let's get into the commentary here. Pottery issues good. We'll talk about it throughout this video. So we're just taking not very effective spark damage. I mean, <laughs> what I was afraid of is just getting spammed by a charge move here. So we shield this up and... I, I was thinking, yeah, they're going to hit it back to back. Patricia says, no, bring it on. What are you talking about, boy? Have faith in me. <laughs> what? Let's get it. Next battle. All right. Obstacoon. So we, all right. Uh, Wigglytuff. Why are you using a charm? Because I am. I ran into uh, two teams using triple charms, which are not going to be in this video. Yeah, excluded those. As well as the battles where I was missing a quick move or two between every charge move for myself and when my opponent used the charge move. So at the end of the battle, I was behind by like, I don't know, 20 charge or 20 quick moves, which obviously shifted the battle completely in it. And I still almost won. So go battle league is just dumb. I love it, but geez, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get off that. So the Obstagoon, and there you go. There's another example for this stupid lag. No, I've played this long enough to know they did not sneak in an counter. I should have been able to get off that cross chop. Uh, this game is so frustrating. So bringing in the wiggly tough here and Obstagoon surprisingly, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you already knew this, but it can handle, um, well, it can do a lot of damage to wiggly tough. All right. So we're up against a talent flame. <laughs> let's freaking go. Oh my goodness. Potter easy. Let's get it, buddy. This thing is so small, but it's got so much bulk to it. It just takes the hits. Like where are you getting all that bulk? You little squirrel. So we're going to go ahead and go for another thunder punch here. So you got Thunder Punch or a Thunderbolt. You can go Thunder, I guess, if for a little bit of an extra hard-hitting surprise, but I don't re recommend it. Next battle, we're met with a Weavile here. All right, this is why I like some of these cups sometimes, because you're going to see some spicy picks here. So we have our back line's going to be able to destroy this thing. Um, so I was waiting for them to use their charge move, and now we're going to go in here with Obstagoon. In comes a Wigglytuff, and unfortunately, yeah, this is going to not be a very good matchup for us. But at the same time, that's okay, I suppose. We're still going to be able to do some good damage if we're able to hit our charge move. The game allows me to. My gosh, man, this game is so annoying. So we're going to be able to take them down into the low red. I mean, not bad at all. 
Now I'm trying to make my decision. What do I want to do? I'll go in here with Pachirisu and just throw the Thunder Punch right away to take them out before they do hit their Ice Beam and take me out or I have to use a shield. Still holding on to two. They're coming back in here with Weavile. We're just going to go ahead and throw this. I kind of... Is my Switch Clock up? Okay, yeah. I should have maybe held on to that. That's fine. We bring in Wigglytuff here. Hope you got something to resist Charm in the back. What's it going to be? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, but we're taking that win there with our extremely skillful shiny wiggly tough with charm let's get it next battle we're met with a an alteria now this is an interesting matchup i found myself like i said in the beginning i'm not going to be featuring every battle especially the ones with lag but uh, the alterias were able to handle pottery shoot to some degree if i lagged in the beginning and they were able to get in about i don't know two seconds worth of quick moves before I'm even able to, to attack. Otherwise, Pachirisu can handle the Altaria. So they're swapping into a Graveler. We're going to go ahead and swap into our Obstagoon here, just doing this thing. We just want to win this matchup here, and we're going to farm down. Excellent. So they're bringing in Wigglytuff. Smart move for them to do that because they know I'm probably going to go Night Slash, so not very effective while taking me out. Made it to a charge move, not able to get it off. That was a legitimate take out there. Was not able to hit the charge move there. Bringing in Pachirisu, going for Thunderbolt, doing as much damage as we can. Now, the re I mean, it, I, I don't need to explain why I'm bringing in Pachirisu. They got a dragon in the front. We simply just do as much damage as we can here. And we go in with Wigglytuff and take them out with a shield left. And we're getting to a Thunder Pachirisu, just putting in the work. It's like, what are you talking about? We don't need a Wigglytuff right now. Wait, don't swap. I could have done that myself. No, it's all good. You go rest there, Pachi. All right, on to the next battle. What are we going to see? Leading with Pachirisu the entire game. The, the entire video, okay? Make sure you go grab a snack. Another nice sit down, get cozy video. Let's get it. All right. So we're up against a uh, Nine Tails with Powder Snow. Okay, that's fine. Gonna hit us with Weather Ball. Pachirisu just tanking everything. Gonna go for a Thunderbolt here. Hopefully they don't shield this up. All right. Good, 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 good. Love to see that. And a Thunder Punch just to put on the pressure because the Volt Switches are just doing a lot of damage. We don't really need to go for another Thunderbolt. They let it go through. And this is just another Weather Ball. We easily let this go as well. And farm them down. Bolt shields on both ends. Okay. Coming in with Magnazone. Now that is an interesting matchup. We're going to be seeing that more often, uh, specifically in the beginning, you know, in the leads. So you can see that. Mirror Shot's not very effective. Wild Charge is not very effective. And also lowering their stats. Pachirisu just walks all over it. Look at that. We survive. We just go for a Thunder Punch just casually, you know, hanging in there. No oh, big deal. Just, all right. The reason why I don't swap is because I would have been locked. And I know they're going to swap here after they use this charge move. So we're going to go ahead and just bring an Obstagoon, shield up the Wild Charge, and they're bringing in a Wigglytuff. Okay, great. We're going to go ahead and throw in our, or they're bringing in a Pidgeot. They call Wigglytuff. I was looking at mine as I threw it in. Okay. They're going for Feather Dance. Now, if they wanted to go for Brave Bird, by all means, be my guess. Obstagoon is not a fighter, so we're not taking super effective damage with that. With the lowered stats, we would be able to take them out easy. And then, obviously, the Magna Zone here. So we're taking the win there, and they back out. We have a full health Obstagoon in the back with energy. A little bit of energy. We take the win there. Looking good. On to our next opponent. What are we going to see? Oh, my goodness. Hit that like button for these good Pachirisu leads. Let's get it. All right. Now, here's the fun thing about the Talonflame lead. You don't need to shield that first thing. Uh, okay, you want to go Brave Bird and hit me with that? Fine, be my guest. We're electric and we resist that. The first flame charge is really not doing much. Pachirisu just absolutely handles it. Anyways, they swap into a Greedent here. We're in with our Obstagoon. Now, I guess I could have went Wigglytuff, but I just doesn't really matter. I know I'm going to win this matchup here and we'll just align it later on. So we're getting that through and getting the boost. So they want to take this out immediately here. Bring it in a Wigglytuff. Now watch how much this is going to do with the attack race two times. Nice. Non-stab as well. Gotta love it. Almost a half there. So perfect. Now we're going to bring in Wigglytuff. Easy. They immediately swap. So we're going to swap into our Pachirisu. And this is a GG's basically here. Although you can't get too ahead of yourself. I'm not trying to just, you know, mock this train or nothing. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just... I'm just saying, all right? So get a shield finally. We still have two. I do believe we shield this up. You know, I don't really want to be out there with a attack raised uh, talent flame with my charm user. So we're farming them down. Are you kidding me? I, I mean, I got two thunder punches here. So we're going to go for the first one. Getting a shield. Oh, we can't get the next one. Technically, now that wasn't lag. They did get that through. I saw the charm, okay? I know when to call it. I'm not just saying, oh, they took me down and I had energy. Come on, man. <laughs> I've been playing this damn game since day one. Next battle, let's get it. Met with a Frostlast. And this is, you know, 
I don't know. Uh, let's see. So Avalanche, eh, you know, it does a lot to pretty much everything. And honestly, that that's a pretty good Avalanche tank from the Pachirisu. Although we can't take another one here, so that's not particularly the best. Going for another Thunder Punch. Put it on the pressure, letting it go. Okay. So they're swapping with energy, bringing in a Vigoroth. And I do this every single time. Okay. Every time I see the Vigoroth, I swap into my Obstagoon. Now it's just what I'm doing. I just, every, I'm looking at the top, you know, where you can see the typing where they swap and I'm just instantaneously just swapping into my Obstagoon without even thinking of it. It's not the worst matchup. You know, we can do damage, put on pressure and then come in here and just do this exactly what we do here. Now we still have two shields. We're going to let this go and put all of our chips on Wigglytuff. Now they either have a counter or they're going to back out. And they, exactly. All right, good game. Moving on to our next opponent. What are we going to see? Let's get it. Pachirisu, good lead, bad lead. Good lead. Well, eh, actually, that's bad. No, 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 no. That's, that's bad lead because they can hit us with rock and uh, we just hit them with not very effective electric. So we're going to bring in our Wigglytuff in hopes they swap. Going for a Stone Edge. Yikes, that hurt. And bringing in Vigoroth to finish us off with the farm down. Damn. Well, we're screwed. <laughs> All right, so we're going to bring in Pachirisu unless... It's not true, unless Pachirisu is going to be able to be the champion that we are claiming it to be, and it can pull this battle around for us. Let's see what we got. Going for a Thunderbolt here. They're going to be letting it go. Great. I need to take that counter user out immediately because we have an obstacle to the back. Going for a Thunder Punch to see if they want to let it go, and they do. Fantastic. Bringing in the Graveler, I immediately swap to counter them down. They have one Pokemon. What is it? Trevenant? Okay. Okay, this is all panning out to be perfect because Patrice really doesn't want to go up against the Trevenant at all because uh, it's grass. <laughs> all right, do I need to say anything else? And it, it's just so silly that uh, attack race, great. So silly that it only has electric moves, unfortunately. Hopefully it'll get another move in the future. And uh, I'm so happy with this. Watch, I get a Shundo. There's nothing that can top it now. I mean, not even a 98... That doesn't really matter. I got 100. That's it. And remember what we've been discussing, okay? Keep this in mind. You heard it here first. We will be getting levels beyond 50 for these Pokemon. So make sure, you know, once you get a Pokemon to 50 and you're like, I don't need to get any more candies. I mean, don't break your back trying to get more XL candies. But keep in mind that you will be able to power that up beyond 50 in the future. I'm willing to put money on that. I'm willing to put money on that. Making other Pokemon even more viable. Now, we're we're seeing a Skarmory in the lead. Now, that it doesn't get any better than that, right? So they're going to be swapping into a Stunfisk here, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our Wigglytuff because we were going up against the Steel in the beginning, and we want to match it up here. Still a bit of a tricky matchup. Now, what I was planning on is to use two shields. I didn't care. Since we had the Pachirisu lead up against Skarmory, an absolute domination of a situation, we want that back, and I will be willing to use two shields to get there. Um, but they're swapping to, to, to actually fix that situation for me, so it sounds great. So unless there's a charm user in the back, this is pretty much... I mean, even if they had a charm user, they go straight Brave Bird because we have so much energy on the Pachirisu. We could put on the pressure, and technically Obstagoon can do some good damage to a Wigglytuff only. All right, so this is a little bit annoying. Um, we let that go, and then I hit this here. Could have made... Ah, whatever, it is what it is. I didn't want to get taken out with all that energy. What you got back there? A uh, uh, Dugong, Okay. It's perfect. No wonder they wanted to just like kind of get rid of that Pachi or just kind of keep dancing around it. Bring it in the Obstagoon with counter. It's over. I see wind's going to lower our attack, but that's, you know, you're going to see they eventually are like, yeah, whatever. Yep. <laughs> Good game. Got to love that rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Next battle, folks. What are we going to see? And it is a Magnezo Shadow Magnezone. This is perfect example for you. Look at the lag. Look at the lag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to love it. So we're going to go straight for the Thunderbolt here. It's not very effective, but they're definitely not going to be able to take hits like we are. Okay, that Magnezone is, is squishy as it is. Not because of the Shadow, but just in general. And specifically in the Great League, too. They're swapping into a Frostlass. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in our Wigglytuff. Whoa, 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 Poke, what are you doing? Why didn't you bring in Obstagoon? Because we've got a Steel type that's going to be taking a lot of damage from our counter. And the Wigglytuff just doesn't want to go up against it. Although, like we were discussing, Mag Magnezone is squishy and it still takes a lot of damage from Charm. So they're taking the win here. That's fine. That That's perfect. We're going to go ahead and bring an Obstagoon and farm up a bit on that Ghost and Ice. And they have a Vigoroth. Okay, mm, this is getting a little nervous, but it's looking like we're going to be able to pull this one off here. 
All right, we're going strong, taking too much damage from that damn thing. Now, I go for cross chop. That was a dumb, dumb move. Uh, I should have went nice last to try to get the boost. So we're going to go ahead and swap, and they're bringing in their Magna Zone here. I do believe we will be shielding this. Oh, no, we let it go. Yeah, exactly. Why, why would we? We want to save our shields for that Body Slam Vigoroth. So we're just going to throw a Thunder Punch here. That's enough to take them out, and this is exactly why we wanted to save our shields here for the Vigoroth. So they're going straight Bulldoze. All right, folks, this this was so random. I, um, I don't know. We're going to do just a few minutes of story time really quick. Sorry to just cut in and stop doing the commentary. I just got a call from my dad because I called him. I left him a message telling him how much I love him and stuff. Uh, I, I'm just going to tell you guys what's up. Like, you know, it was a rough childhood, you know, and hard spankings, if you, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just put it like that. Pretty strict. Um he thinks that I don't like him and stuff like that, but I he he's he he's so wrong because of the past. I love him more than he could possibly imagine, and I just lo love to call him and tell him that every once in a while. Let him know that there is no anything of the past, and, and you know I'm telling you this because maybe that's the same way with your parents. Let it go. Um, be loving. Just you know you, you never know when they're gonna go. All right. And God forbid you ever say anything like, oh, I don't want them around. You you, you do, okay? So just huh, random little quick reminder, a little holiday time of the year to just forget. And if somebody did something so, 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 so horrible, I mean, forgive and don't forget. But, you know, for those everything else, just let it go and embrace them and let them know that that you don't care and you love them because these people they think about this i'm sure they think about what they've done so <laughs> we'll stop there okay there you go there's my little uh my dad talk for the day <laughs> all right let's get back into this uh gameplay here that was a little heart to heart all right so we got pachi coming in here this isn't watch watch this is why i love this thing this little guy's holding on for dear life says what looking around oblivious to everything and we throw this thunderbolt and uh we're just you know putting in the work here but it's not enough yeah i, I, I kind of get a little annoyed there but um that was a straight up loss good game you got me next battle what are we gonna see obstagoon this is a interesting one we got two pokemon that kind of want to see that in the back we got our own obstagoon and a wigglytuff that's just ready to go at it wigglytuff's hilarious it looks like it has a five o'clock shadow <laughs> all right and it's just pink and even funnier situation there all right so we have a simultaneous swap i don't think he thought i was going to switch and i didn't certainly didn't think he was going to switch it just sometimes that just happens we're letting the brick break go through figured it was going to be that still doing a lot of damage but we're going to be able to survive those thunder shocks no problem here and get off these night slashes now we will shield this one up we're not going to double shield though we're not going to win the matchup uh right you just farms up energy too fast it's going to get to another charge move here and this is not enough to ko or oh, they're double shielding okay never mind that's why we can't win double shield all right otherwise we would have easy so we're going to let it go we want to hold on to our shield there's no way i'm going to shield up uh, the obstacle so we let it go down we're going to go in here with the uh, wiggly tough because i don't think pachi i mean we could have farmed it down but we yeah brick break would have done a decent amount of damage so they swap into their nine tails alolan here we're going to go ahead and go for the thunderbolt since their shields are down and this is looking pretty freaking good. I'm not going <laughs> to... Feeling pretty happy about this here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. And we actually get to a Thunder Punch. I couldn't believe this. Um, it, look at this thing just holds on. 1 HP and a Chickmunk Dream. Alright, <laughs> All right, bringing in the Wigglytuff to take them out before they even know what's happening. And there's that Obstagoon in the back. We're going to simply shield this up. I don't want to get hit by a surprise Gunk Shot um, or Hyper Beam. Not that I don't think they had the energy and, you know... Better safe than sorry. Next battle. What are we going to see? Uh, Magnezone. Good. Let's go. Got the fairy in the back pulling up the steel up there. Let's see what they could do here. Now, obviously, we're going to not shield anything up. <laughs> Look at that. Attack fell, unfortunately. Now, that's, that's a bit of a damper in the situation. It's not, you know, flipping everything and making it all bad for me, but kind of annoying. Still doing some good damage, though. I'm sure they're going to go for another one. Or, nope, they're going wild charge. Swapping into a Vigoroth, and again with this dang Obstagoon, I'm just... We're taking so much damage from the counter, it's so horrible. Uh, and honestly, in this matchup, I should have went with the Wigglytuff because we have the Magnezone, so... Yeah, what I'm thinking is, you know, they got a fighter or something weak to fighting in the front. So they may have something to counter in the back, fighting? 
So trying to get rid of our obstacle now. That's kind of the thought process for that. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our Wigglytuff and farm him down. I mean, no, we're going to get to an Ice Beam or Dazzling Gleam even. So we're letting the Body Slam go through, unfortunately, and uh, taking him out. Eh, okay amount of health. Bringing in our Pachirisu immediately going for the Thunderbolt here onto the Magnezone. Kind of want to get rid of that thing ASAP. And we're not able to, unfortunately. But after this, it will go down. I'm expecting a mirror shot. There it is. Attack drop. No. Great. They have an Altaria in the back. GG's. We've got the Wigglytuff back there. We're looking just too good to be true. Going for a Thunderbolt. Getting that last shield. And that's all we really wanted, to be honest. All right. Since we already had energy built up, we're going to go ahead and shield this up. Get to the Ice Beam. Now I was thinking, if you get to two Sky Attacks. Okay, exactly. <laughs> all right. And we're getting off the Ice Beam. Let's get it. All right, taking the win with the Wiggly in the back. Next battle, Pachirisu putting in the work. It doesn't care. It is just going to town. We're met with a Lantern. This is good, all right? They're taking neutral damage from the electric moves while we take resisted because we do not have any other typings. We're just electric, and they're part water. So we're already at half for them. I'm expecting a Hydro Pump. They hit me with a Thunderbolt, so that's great. I like to see that. Going to go for another Thunderbolt here. I'm just not going to hold back at all up against this thing. Yep, and they're going to swap into an Obstacle. We're going to go ahead and bring in Wigglytuff, and we got the Rock, Paper, Scissors going on right now. Let's go. Well, I mean, the first battle, it could have went for Hydro Pump. I don't know what's up with that. Would have done a good amount. Um... Usually everybody runs with that, right? Anyways, we're going to farm down, and to my surprise, they almost take out my Wigglytuff. What in the heck? In comes a Frostlass, and unfortunately not able to get to a charge move. That's okay. We got Obstagoon. Here we go. So I do believe I actually get the boost two times, so we're going to see our Obstagoon at an attack of plus four. So we get it here. I think it, both times we use Night Slash. So one. Yep, yep, this is the battle. So that counter's just doing that much more. They swap the catch with the Lantern. Nice catch. But we also get the boost here. Oh yeah, Obstagoon says it's my time to shine. Let's get it. So we're going to shield this up no problem at all. Avalanche. We will survive an Avalanche still at this point. Yeah, we're, we're not going to get KO'd by it. I think we actually counter this thing down. Yeah, one, two, three. And we have a double KO and I still have a full health Pachirisu. And there's your win. There you go. Let's keep it going here, folks. What are we going to see Again, for this Patrice, you lead a talent flame. Let's see it. Let's go. They're swapping into a gravel, or we're going to go ahead and bring in our Obstagoon. Now, I'm definitely not going to be countering down because, you know, it's just <laughs> a little ambitious. Expecting a Stone Age to go for Thunderbolt. That's okay. That's all right. That's perfectly fine. Going for a Night Slash here. And now we will farm down. Oh, that's just too beautiful. Let's go. All right. Now, at this point, this is just extra damage. This is just great. They can't farm us down, so... I mean, the best outcome for them is going to be they're going to raise their attack with Flame Charge. And they're just going to be doing that much more damage now. I mean, we made it to the Night Slash, but we couldn't tap on it, unfortunately. Hitting the Thunder Punch immediately as we go in here with the Pachirisu. Up against that Talon Flame, we're getting a shield. That's their last one here. Now, we we can let a Flame Charge go. I think we would shield it up. Going to go ahead and go for another Thunder Punch. I don't go for Thunderbolt because we don't need to. Swapping into our Wigglytuff here. And we're just going to let this go through. I mean, you know. They get, look at that. They got a, uh, an Altaria in the back. They swap. We take that win there. Looking good. Pachirisu, this team. Folks, let's get it. Let's set the bar. Let's go. All right. Next battle, we have an obstacle. We've seen this before. You know, it's, you know, it's not, it's not horrible or nothing, but um, kind of a really want to swap situation. They get an attack boost. Now, what happens here? We're going, we're going to go Wigglytuff. All right, we get a shield. I don't want my Obstagoon to go down. Great. So you shield it up, and now, now we're swapping. So they lost their attack. But now they have a good matchup here. But what's going to happen is we're just going to let it take us out, and then we're going to go in here with Obstagoon, and we're going to farm it down. They're going to come back in with their Obstagoon, and then let's just hope that there's something in the back that the Pachirisu can handle. Hopefully not like a ground type or something like that. All right. So we're going to go in here and farm them down. We still have two shields. This is just too good. Coming back in here with Obstagoon. Oh, yeah? Gonna go straight for the cross top. Should have actually never mind. <laughs> Should have not went for anything else. That was perfect. And they come in here with their frost last and they back out. We take the win. Let's keep it freaking going. All right. Next battle. Got about ten minutes left of this video here. And another or a Vigoroth. Okay, that's fine. Uh this is probably this place that I want the Pachirisu the most. Maybe the Wigglytuff can be there. 
so long as Obstagoon's not going up against it, that's like the least matchup that we want to see. All right, going straight for Thunderbolt. Now, the Vigoroth can go Bulldoze, and that will do more damage than Body Slam, but yeah, it takes a little bit longer to get there, obviously. They're going for another Body Slam. Going to go for a Thunder Punch here. They're shielding up. Now we swap into our Obstagoon to farm down, since we still have a shield, or we're up a shield, and we're just going to go straight for the Night Slash here. What was that that they bring in? Oh, a Superior. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now I was suspecting them to go for a Leaf Tornado, which doesn't really do much damage, and I can let it go. And that's exactly what it is. And this person gets the freaking attack drop by two stages. That's what Leaf Tornado does if it actually activates. So lucky them. Uh, <laughs> we're going to let this next one go. We will survive. We should be able to almost take them out here. Come on. Yeah, I know our attack is down, but don't. this is definitely not going to KO. Yeah, that's fine. Swapping into Wigglytuff, taking them out immediately with a charm. And they got a Drift Bloom in the back, which can't handle Wigglytuffs. It just simply can't. Uh, ghost moves are not very effective, and yeah. Now, the first battle you saw, I had Trevenant. What happened? Why did you take it off? Something go wrong? Did you get countered, hard countered or something with that team? I didn't, but I did not want to have that happen in the future. What I was thinking is, okay, we have an Obstagoon and a Trevenant on the team. If we run into a Wigglytuff, we're absolutely and completely screwed. There's a nice 5-0 for you. So, I took off Trevenant. And put on Wigglytuff, and it worked out too dang well. So well, in fact, that I just rolled with it for the entire GBL day for me. All right, next battle, we're met with another stinking Obstagoon. All right, it's not a bad lead. We got the Charm user in the back. Could be the reason why we're pulling them up, if you believe in that. Going for a Thunderbolt here. Let's get this right through. Very nice. is just so tanky. Taking the counters like a champion. That's technically what you have to really look out for, is those counter damages going through. So we're going to go ahead and swap. I just felt... Like, eh, it's too, Obstagoon's too spammy. Let's go ahead and just bring in Wigglytuff. Seeing that we do have the Obstagoon to handle it. And they're bringing out another counter user right here. So this is just perfect. Good. Get rid of their counter users so the Obstagoon can run amok. Hopefully there's not a Charm user in the back. That would just be my luck, right? So what's it going to be? We've used the shield and we're going to go for the charge. Oh, they got an Obstagoon. Okay, okay, we can work with this. We can work with this. We got a shield. They got a little bit of farm, which honestly with an Obstagoon, that's a lot of farm. Bring it in our, or with the Obama Snow, that's a lot of farm. Bring it in our Obstagoon. And they're swapping. We're going to go ahead and immediately bring in our Pachirisu. And yeah, I had a lot of energy, right? What are you doing? Well, Pachirisu survives and we are able to put on pressure. I don't know why I go for, I don't know why I didn't go for Thunderbolt. Okay, whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I screwed up. Yes, I know. All right, so we're going to be bringing in our Obstagoon here and the rest is history. Let's get it. They let it go. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and just counter them down now. One, two, three. We had another charge move, so I technically would have still won, if, even though they shielded it up. All right, good game. Next battle, what are we going to see here? Oh, yeah, Talon Flame. All right, so if you do use this team, I hope you like the way I've constructed it here. You need... All right, so if you do follow my teams, you should actually put them in order uh, in the back as well, the way I have them. But Poke, that doesn't do anything. Okay, for... Sure, you can believe what you want, so go ahead and set up the team how you like. But for the rest of you, yeah, just, you know, make the teams how I'm making them. Pachirisu in the front, Wigglytuff in the back, Obstagoon in the front. What's a substitute for Pachirisu? I haven't looked into it. Um, I think even like a level 40 Pachirisu is still going to be, it's not obviously, you know, going to be as tanky or hitting as hard because it's not a level 50, but it's still going to be okay. So just give it a shot, right? All right, so Pachirisu, it's not very effective to grass or ground, right? So we have the Obstagoon to potentially handle, I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to, I don't want it roaming around, but to handle something out there. Um, and then we also have Wigglytuff to kind of handle it. And then we're weak to fighting with the Obstagoon. We have Wigglytuff to protect it from the fighting. And Wigglytuff is weak to steel. We have Pachirisu to protect it from the steel, and as well as Obstagoon's counter and uh, cross chop. And then just, just go Night Slash too, I guess, suppose. And um, yeah, there's more intricates for this team here, but we're just going to get back into the commentary. Met with an Altaria. Let's get it. All right. So this is fine. Yeah, I mean, the first few battles that I had, uh, people were just going Sky Attack, and then they started going Moonblast. Like, I do believe they're going to just go straight Sky Attack, though. Let's see. And uh, yeah, there it is. Not very effective. Okay, let's keep it going here. Going to go for the Thunderbolt here. Yeah, they're not taking super effective damage from the electric moves, but still hurting them quite a bit. 
Alteria is a tank, as we do know. Got some lag going on here. Oh, you got to love that lag. So I do believe I shield up simply because we do have energy and I do want to win swap just to see what they have. Okay, Vigoroth, great. So we're going to be going for a Thunderbolt here. And it's a good thing we won swap because I don't want my obstacle going up against that. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Wigglytuff here and just charm up. Um... The reason why I did swap is because they're kind of lower on health and the Oscan really doesn't need to worry about it now. I could farm it down. Um, I think we put all of our hope into Obstagoon. Yeah, let's go. What you got in the back? Show me a frost. Oh, another Obstagoon. Okay. All right. So I go for the Night Slash here to get to see if we can get the boost. Otherwise, you just want to straight attack it um, in this situation where you're just doing enough damage to KO them. So we shield this up. Watch this. I couldn't believe it. So... They get another charge move. Now I'm thinking they're going to KO. But folks, it's all boiled down to this moment. I hope you do enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Pachirisu says, what happened? What, did we take the win? <laughs> Thank you for watching and take care, traders. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.